Eric Mwade here, again trying to explain the RSI levels and how we come to use the much commonly available on most charts, the 30 level on the RSI and the 70 level on the RSI. So I just want to use another method of showing you how this is what is usually on the charts, even though I believe it's slightly wrong because it actually should be 69.10 and this should be 30.90 so I want to show you this again and the reason why I believe this is important is once you understand how this plays into a stocks movement when stocks move up or below these levels here including 50 then you can understand and appreciate why you get big moves in the marketplace for any stock any market any time period so why don't we do this let's begin by bringing in the Fibonacci tool here so now you've introduced the Fibonacci 2 and take it from 0 here to 50. You see that at 61.8 here, which is also another way of looking at 38.2. So at 61.8 you come at a level about 30.90. And how do I know it's exactly at 30.90? Let me show you. It's very simple. If we take a look at the calculator here and we go 50 times 0.618, we end up at exactly 30.90. So that's why I know it's at 30.90. The tool does not give me the precise levels here because it's not selling at 50 on this on this point here. So it's 30.90. So we know that. So let's take the same tool and move it up a little bit like that so between 50 and 100 right and you see that at about 38.2 which is also another way of looking at 61.8 percent depending on how you do it by that I mean let's say we move it this other way like that where you start 0 here up to 50 you'll see that at about 61.8% is about 69.10 and I'll show you how you do that. So you just take the math again, take the calculator and just go 50 times 0.382 which equals to 19.1 plus 50 because we are above 50 you end up with 69.10 so that's how you get those levels and again I have a lot of videos explaining why 30.90 is important so check them out why 69.10 is important and also why 50 is important so you need to understand that also don't forget that if you take the normal RSI reading like that so from 0 to 100 you'll see that at 38.2 which is where you get a lot of action and also at 61.8 just normal reading on the RSI you get significant moves on the stock so check out my videos on YouTube and you'll see how I explain how you can incorporate all these Fibonacci tools and Fibonacci reasoning to understand what's going on in a stock Eric Moore the good luck peace and blessings